guess where we're going? We're going to Manila. Three weeks there with the team working, doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dessert. Excited. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna be like because it's, it's a big space here, but uh, I think it's gonna be very good. What I realized from my journey, a lot of people remember me by not what I'm doing is something unique, but because they can trust me as a person. That's always my approach, to make sure you go not 100%, but 200% for a customer. On the ball. I have a new friend here, Big Fight. What's up guys, welcome to a new vlog. Guess where we're going? We're going to Manila. Again, fourth time for me and Alex, second time for Dimitri and Nikolai. Dimitri, are you excited? Super excited. Finally, we're going at the best time. It's gonna be sunny, plus 35 Celsius. We're gonna be three weeks. I am on the ball. I will never stop. <laughs> Three weeks there with the team working, doing a lot of stuff. So let's get out from this freaking cold, yeah. Russia, and get to Philippines. All right, so I wanted to talk about the trip we have, and uh, we're doing this. I want to show you like where we book, how much it costs, uh, where we get the hotels and stuff. This time we're gonna go for three weeks. So it's gonna be a long time and it was very hard to find the right hotel for that because basically if you're gonna go for a good hotel, they are asking for... <laughs> Nikolai, what's happening man? What's happening Nikolai? No, let's, let's go, let's go. So basically, uh, I found this good deal, the Qatar Airways. If you actually don't book through Qatar Airways, if you book it through like Expedia or Avia Sales, you can get like a cheaper deal. So basically the flight or the ticket cost uh, 39,000 rubles, so that's about uh, $590 and we're traveling three of us, so it's 1773 and also my ticket I got on miles, so basically I'm not paying anything and uh, that is nice because I basically collected those points and then converted them into the ticket. And then the hotel, so actually I just found out that we had to pay extra deposit, it's like 4,000 pesos for night, two rooms. and. The trip is like uh, $4,900 the total for three weeks. That's actually about, I would say like $80 per night per room. So it's not too bad because uh, as you know in Manila, the prices are not super expensive, but at the same time, it's a good deal because you don't want to stay at a really bad hotel. Because you don't know the food, you don't know the, I don't know, the rooms you're gonna get. So we got this hotel, we're gonna do the hotel review. So make sure you check it out as well later. And uh, I have no idea. Hopefully, Dimitri is gonna like the the hotel. Hope so. Really hope so. just arrived finally, 24 hours. We left the office and now it's actually the same time the people at St. Petersburg they start working now and we just arrived. So finally arrived, good news, 33 Celsius here. So it's gonna be warm, hot. Switch the SIM cards. Everyone got a SIM card. It's very important, I was talking before in the previous vlog that you have to get the SIM cards first because then it's basically everything. So we have a grab now. This is the app, it's like Uber, but it's in Philippines. Grab, so waiting for a taxi. Unfortunately, the hotel said there was no cars. So the weather is nice. That's, I'm so excited about that because finally no storms, no typhoons. We can enjoy the weather as well. Normally we're around 100 degrees this time of year, luckily not near that 109.
Good morning guys, first day in Manila. Uh, we're actually staying this time in Makati area. Uh, this is just one of the areas. Last time we stayed in, uh, uh, I guess it was Passage, something like that. But we're heading to basically meet with the team today and it's been exciting because they've been working for a few months without an office. And as you remember in the last vlog from Philippines here, we actually moved out of the office and it was uh, I was just excited to see how the process is going to be. So now it's been a few months, I think it was productive. <clears throat> the team been working well from my point, but I'm curious to hear what they're going to say. We're going to actually head now uh, to meet them. We're going to be probably at Starbucks place. That's just the common place to work for anywhere. And uh, gonna ask Nina, Christy, how they're doing, Janina, Cyril as well. So uh, really pumped as well. We're finally here that we can really work and push the team. Tomorrow we're gonna be speaking. I'll be speaking at the conference. It's like a small conference, which uh, actually Dasha found uh, uh, before we arrived here. So we're gonna go tomorrow to the venue to check it out. I think I ha I'm gonna have like 10, 15 minutes of keynote speech, which is pretty quick. But at, at the same time, we're gonna prepare to make sure it's effective as well. So good weather, let's enjoy it a little bit. In Russia it's pretty cold now. So yeah, good breakfast so far and I'm gonna head there to meet the team. So Nina, how was the few months without office? Uh, mm, there are pros and cons. Okay, let's start with uh, bad things. Okay, the bad. One of the few cons is the internet. Internet? Okay. And the coffee shop because sometimes there are the coffee shop where we meet is very crowded. So we need to look for another coffee shop where we can discuss and talk with internet connection as well. So very hard. Hey, how are you? Hello. So internet connection, crowded. Uh, what about the teamwork? Still good. We're collaborating. Not as discipline or uh, it's okay, discipline? In my opinion, it's much better with office. With office? Yeah, with office. It's much good compared with... <laughs> well, what about the, uh, the good things? Bro. Um, the, pause, uh, the pause is that um, it's convenient because it's we can meet up uh, near our place okay. so we can set up a meeting place just near our place and the travel time is not that long so there i think that, that's just the <laughs> <laughs> all right so we gotta find solutions this time so three weeks actually less now but we're gonna find solution <laughs> Nina gave us this present. <laughs> she actually made it. What, what is it, Nina? It's leche flan. Leche? Leche flan. It's a Filipino favorite dessert. So, dessert. Okay. <laughs> try it. <laughs> Do it to me. Try it. I'm gonna try it. Why is she gonna try it? No, no, no it's gonna try it. Alex is gonna try as well. <laughs> So ending the first day in Manila so far, had a really good productive meeting. It's now, it's, it's always, uh, I don't know, it feels like home now coming here, it's fourth time. And especially this, uh, when we're meeting with the team, I feel like it's much more connected. I remember the very first time, if you haven't seen the uh, vlogs from the first time when we came here, it, you know, it was so weird because I never met Nina before and that connection was kind of like, difficult to make but now we're all it's all together so close I don't know if it's uh, you know it might be good might be not good but I think it's the most important is to be able that you know each team member is feeling kind of like a uh, connection and that it's on uh, I would say I don't know on a, on a positive note so just like making sure everyone is uh, uh, understanding each other has some sort of vibes uh, going on so this is very important the team because then we can work more efficient we can uh, you know achieve certain goals and be effective as well in tasks so I think the 
first day tomorrow we'll be speaking at this HustleCon conference, which Dasha, she actually founded. And, uh, you know, huge thanks to her because without her, I wouldn't be able to speak at that one. And uh, it's going to be, I think, like a small conference, like maybe, I don't know, 20, 50 people. So like maybe similar to what we were doing with the Fiverr events or maybe like Pioneer Forum, for example, like it was in Belgrade. So something similar and it's going to be a very short keynote, like 15 minutes probably. And basically the goal will be to like, uh, I'll be speaking how you can turn your hobby into a full-time business and how you can really like scale it and how Philippines is well affected the business, our team and just you know basically how we improved from that. So it will be interesting as well meet some other entrepreneurs and just you know discuss certain ideas. And another big news which I want to share actually yesterday, uh, actually two days ago uh, when I was in uh, Doha airport I got a message uh, that you know I was published in Yahoo Finance and Nasdaq and that was pretty that was pretty big because uh, that was like an article most influential people who are basically it's like an article comparing top influential people entrepreneurs to Jeff Bezos which is sounds crazy but uh, I'm basically mentioned in the article and it's talking about the story a little bit so that's awesome news I think it's gonna be really big for credibility especially if you're you know trying to build your personal brand with on Instagram on uh, I don't know your website if you want to be speaking conferences this is a good credibility so very thankful and at the same time you know it brings so much motivation so uh, very positive and uh, you know just finishing up preparing for last pieces for tomorrow's talk and it's gonna be very interesting because the team is gonna be actually sitting there and watching as well Good morning guys, third day. How is the breakfast so far here? What do you can say? <laughs> it looks like they took frozen uh, food and just sent frozen. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean the breakfast is, is good, but it's just like so much. Like it's basically feels like a dinner to be honest, because like you have uh, pasta, Alfredo. I never saw Alfredo in the morning in, in the breakfast, so they have everything. I guess. In Asia, people like, it's not like us, we eat maybe like very light, they try to eat more in the morning, so I don't know, but it's, it's just, it's just what it is, it is what it is. actually was looking going over speakers today very interesting stories so maybe we can find potential people to interview afterwards just to meet up as well uh, because there's one guy who has also interesting story where he I think he got a drop out from university and started his million dollar business so it's gonna be awesome I think the location is good all together here uh, as well and uh, yeah I don't know how it's gonna be like because it's, it's a big space here but uh, I think it's gonna be very good definitely good for us to practice more for me to be able to meet more network that's what we want to show you guys as well to document this process because it's it's part of the of our journey too uh, and you know and when i started my business so many years ago so i was going to those meetups and you know i was oh we have some new guests uh, and i was going to those meetups and i couldn't meet uh I couldn't meet people like me who were running a business for a number of years, so it was kind of frustrating. Uh, so that's why we actually created Entrepreneur. We're going to start, and I think, you know, Vasily, you're the first one, so I'd like to uh, bring you uh, uh, Vasily Kishigi, who's uh, the founder of, uh, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Vnog? Vnog, yeah. Vnog, Vnog Media. Okay, Vnog Media. Uh, please welcome, let's have a big round of applause. So I think what is the most important for anyone who is want to try to, if, it's, if you're working in the company or if you're starting your own business, if you have your hobby, you can turn it into like a side hustle. Because you know, it's like people can paint very well, they can draw very well, and this is, could be as your side business. So it doesn't, don't think about you have to be super expert. 
you can be a really good at what you love doing and you can turn this into at least like a side business and then scale it eventually even more. Go as a person, you, because what I realized from my journey, a lot of people remember me by not what I'm doing is something unique, but because they can trust me as a person. And they're coming back to me and I'm building credibility and trust with that. And then when you also be doing personal brand, you will see increase in sales because let's say, for example, John orders from me and then uh, John has a friend, Mike, and, and then John will say like, Vasily is doing something with Instagram, you should check it out. So this creates like a circle and like a snowball, which then eventually builds your career and you will have increase in sales and then potentially you can run any other things which you want to do. You know, use the opportunities of social media. I know where everyone is on Instagram, right? Everyone is using Instagram. Yeah, so it's it's just so powerful. And if you work, not only, for example, uh, just let's say you just create some sort of content around it, just nice pictures, build your personal brand, because then you'll get those potential collaborations, potential maybe uh, some, for example, I have one of our team members, Valeria, she, uh, because I always encourage everyone to work on their personal brand on Instagram. And one of our team members, Valeria, she started to work on her Instagram and then she got like a free me membership at the gym for one year. You know, it's just things could happen that way. And on Instagram, things are, you know, could scale very quickly too. Uh, I realized that here in the Philippines, people are really taking care of, for example, if they're working in the company and you're, you know, working hard, they're working even harder. They really take it uh, seriously. And for example, one of the, I find if you're like work, building your business, for example, we operate, we have office in Russia and the time zone is different here. So basically if you're building and scaling your team, your business is going to be running 24 seven because the time differences. And this is also a huge advantage. For example, in Russia, we're a little bit different in the mindset as well. A lot of people, I mean, we have a lot of people there also like closed, but at the same time, they're very, I would say straightforward. And sometimes, as, as you know, when you're working the customer service and, uh, you know, trying to uh, work in that, it's not as always right. So you have to make sure you're really caring about the customer. And I found this immediately when I was working with Nina that uh, it's, you know, it's just what really I wanted. And that's always my approach to make sure you go not 100%, but 200% for a customer. So I think here, uh, our goal, we're going to continue to expand and uh, for anyone who is you know looking to uh, if you need uh, like uh, just overview of what's happening in Europe and this I will tell you here you know people are very dedicated and uh, it's very hard to build a team but uh, if you provide good uh, environment good atmosphere you'll see that feedback as well from people thank you very much Guys, it was an awesome event. Actually, I think one of the best ones in terms of engaging, in terms of diversity of uh, speakers and really cool stories as well. And uh, thanks to Dimitri, always keeping me positive, no, hustling, no, no. right? Yeah. How it was, was it? How was the event? It was a great event. Three things that I want to highlight, I think. One of them was um, reputation. The one of the speakers were talking about reputation and how you, you when you say something, you need to make sure you will do it. It's not a lot of people talking about this nowadays. This guy really killed it and nailed it, so I really like that part. And uh, the second thing is hard work. Uh, the woman was uh, she built up the business from nothing, and uh, she has five kids and she is uh, divorced. She was able to uh, scale the business and she has now. 60 employees working for her. So that's inspiring for me personally. The third one was the guy, he is 22 right now, and he had uh, he started his hustle and working like from 14 or 15 years old, and he is like in cybersecurity, and he had a, such a like long list of achievements for just being 22 that I was not able to even remember half of them. And now it's a good time to start. So it doesn't matter if you're not starting, you're thinking now it's a good time, it's not late. That's the most important. Remember Ronnie? That's true. Now it's a good time to start. So thanks to Max. Actually it was interesting because what Max is doing is similar to what we want to do, organize this meetup. So for me it's very interesting because actually Max, he liked as well me to be speaking 
but in Hong Kong, in other events, here in Manila again. So maybe we'll do some sort of integration, we'll see how it goes, but that's what for me is good because I can see what he's doing and I can replicate this to the freelancing events which I want to launch as well. So guys, thank you so much. Thanks Dimitri, thanks to Nikolai. Thank you Nikolai so much. Thanks to Alex, please give me the camera. I want to sh show you. Okay, now I'm, now I'm Alex. Okay, <laughs> Alex. Thank you. I'm on the ball. See you guys. Manila was great. See you.